And just in the past half hour, we have learned some new information. There are 41 confirmed cases now in Connecticut, most of those cases in Fairfield County. There are four in Litchfield, Hartford, and New Haven counties. Now, as part of a regional approach, the governors of New York and New Jersey plus Governor Ned Lamont all teamed up to make a decision to close several businesses. Restaurants and bars will close at 8 o'clock tonight, turning to takeout, curbside pickup, or delivery. Movie theaters and gyms are all being told to close. There are exceptions. Grocery stores, pharmacies, and gas stations are considered essential and will stay open. The statewide move to close restaurants and bars is happening right before St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now. He's with the Mobile Newsroom in the Elm City, where this is obviously, Matt, a very, very big day for these businesses and bars and restaurants. Uh, it sure is, Mark. As you said, New Haven, known for its life, nightlife. You have the bars, the restaurants, the pubs, with tomorrow being St. Patrick's Day. Obviously, of course, they were still expecting some customers. Now that won't be the case uh, with the uh, order to close those restaurants and bars. In fact, the only folks that will be going in there are being folks that will be picking up takeout or delivery. No parade, no problem. That was the original plan at Christie's Irish Pub. But with the coronavirus spreading, the state is ordering bars and restaurants to now close indefinitely, starting tonight at 8. I think it's scarier now than it was a week ago. Everybody seems a little bit more nervous than we were several days ago. And with everything shutting down, I'm just financially scared. Bartender Kristen Marchetti says Sunday, which would have been parade day, only brought out what she described as an intimate group after the city halved occupancy limits. The idea is cutting down on large gatherings will help limit the potential spread. And now they won't have anyone here on St. Patrick's Day either. That's because restaurants and bars must close, except for offering takeout or delivery. We were looking forward to it. Um, takeout's not our bread and butter here, so it's not really something that I would assume would be a viable option. But, um, I mean, people still need to eat. Not everybody cooks, so I'm glad some places will be available. but. Um, for us here, I just don't see it. Just last week, COVID-19's potential financial impact already had the folks at the Trinity Bar and Restaurant worried. These few days in March are their money makers before the slower summer months, but they know why the city and state are taking these steps. It's pretty disappointing, but you understand where it's coming from. You know, the, the health and safety of your patrons is, you know, top of the list. New Haven's mayor says it's drastic measures during unprecedented times but the steps are needed. It's an awful situation and there are no easy answers to this, but it is very clear that from an economic perspective, our pain now will reduce the pain that we feel later. Now, just to rehash, restaurants and bars that serve food, they will close tonight at 8 going forward. They will only be open for uh, takeout and delivery. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.